Hi guys. So if you want to know how to get this look right here, please keep watching. So I already moisturized my face before this and uh, then I went ahead with this MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade uh, NC25 which is my shade. I absolutely love this foundation because it gives such a matte finish and it dries so quick. It's just great. It's actually my favorite, I guess. <laughs> so don't forget to put it on your neck as well. We don't want to look like two different shades. I then took these two shades right here, like a pink and an orange mix, and I put it in the socket area as a transition color. This just makes the eyeshadows blend really well, and it makes it look. It gives it like a gradient effect. I used this pink color then to put it on my lid. just as a base now for that smoky effect i took this black shade right here and i put it in the crease also i created a v shape with this brush this gave it like the cat eye smoky look then taking a blending brush i just blended it and made it as seamless as possible just so that there are no harsh edges Then with that same color, I put it in the lower lash line. For my favorite part, I used the shimmer by Faces. It's like a rose pink color. Then for the inner tear duct area, I used like a white highlighting powder so that it brightens and opens up the eye. I used my Maybelline gel liner to draw just a rough. liner before i went ahead with my uh, liquid liner and uh, perfected it putting a good layer of my mascara i threw on these lashes i just love how this enhances the whole look going back to my base i took the true match concealer by l'oreal and i just drew this under my eye in like a triangle shape along with the other high points of my face blending all that in I took some of my translucent powder and set those areas just so that it doesn't crease. Using my Max contour in medium, I just contoured my face with an angled brush. This really needs to be blended in well so that it doesn't look like a harsh patch on your face. This is really cool if you want those defined cheekbones especially if you have a round face like mine. Some blush on and then shimmer. You just have to apply this on all the high points again just so that when the light hits it gives this glowy effect on your face. I used this dark maroonish shade just to give the look a little edge. I know this look was all pink and girly but because of the smoky eyes and the leather jacket I was wearing that day I just thought I would add a dark lip to it. So there you have it this edgy fun girls night out look and thanks for watching.